Good afternoon, and welcome to another ironic introduction to another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about the featured items returning in the store. For me, this is the first time I'm seeing them. Uh, and in true fashion, if I pop over to the store, these are free to play friendly. Uh, this is like amazing, um, but I do want to put a word of caution out there. Remember when you are buying any of these that the July 4th deal is right around the corner. So take a magnifying glass to the amount of units you have and you know strongly consider what is worth buying. Uh, but that said, uh, I have a spreadsheet made for these, so first I'll just go over like a rough suggestion for buying in general, uh, not including the numbers. So for any of these upgrade materials, I would generally recommend that you only buy them if you're topping off or to what I will call green efficiency, uh, unless you absolutely need them. Some things like the tier 2 alpha uh, will have much higher value and are going to be worth pushing past that limit, but do keep in mind that there is a significant increased cost there, uh, especially with things like the tier 5 basic as well, uh, so just be careful there. Uh, things like six signature stones have a little bit more value, uh, so again, I can see a lot of people pushing past the green there. Uh, for the crystal shards in general, uh, these are worth, but, uh, you know, again, just be careful and make sure you're, like, keeping an uh, amount of units in mind, and remember that there is a scaling cost here. So, that being said, uh, as long as you're being mindful of your units, what I have here is a spreadsheet. And I'm not going to go number by number just because I don't need to uh, since I've got like it color coded here. So essentially what I've done is I've input all of the numbers uh, for each of these deals as they scale across. So if you pick any like specific cell in the spreadsheet here, that would be how many units it would cost for that item. Uh, and that would be the number uh, like that you are buying. So for the 16th tier 2 class catalyst fragment, it's going to cost you t uh, 26 units. Uh, just an example but what I've done here is in green I've uh, highlighted the cells for which you are paying about double maybe a little more maybe a little less depending on which cell you're in um, it's not perfect uh, for you know based on the first cost unit that you paid so for example here you got like the tier 4 basic is initially 3, it scales up to 7, uh, and it keeps scaling additionally from there. Uh, but after that point, you're paying more than twice the initial cost uh, in scale up. Uh, as well as I put down here, this is the total amount of units you would need in order to buy that out. Uh, that one, I, di I didn't steal from the, the, the store like I could have. Um, but I've actually just done that via the Excel spreadsheet. So if my numbers are a little off here at any point, let me know uh, because they do this wonky thing where on some of them it's like a universal edition and then on some of them they like alternate between adding two and then adding one uh, and it really screws up the Excel spreadsheet um, as I do have to go enter those ones manually so just be mindful if there's any errors in here feel free to let me know um, but this is just a general rough guide and we'll give you a sense of you know where the opportunity cost of buying is um, but that said the red uh, I've got an average per unit cost if you were to buy out the entire selection and the red is where you are paying about the average or a little below uh, and anything past the point of the red you are seriously seriously paying inefficiently and I would highly suggest not going past uh, unless you absolutely need it things like the tier two uh, tier five basic or the six star shards um, these are things that I think people will pass up further on or like five star six stones or another great example uh, but my general buying guide for this is you are safe to buy all the way up to the green uh, And if you do buy all the way up to the green that is 675 units uh, For if you were to do that all the way through and that is including the green So if you buy up to the green including the green, it's only 675 units uh, Which is really not bad and I am going to be pushing that threshold And if you buy all the way up to the red to the point where you're paying under average uh, and it's 1,144 units. I am not sure if I'll push that far, but I am going to take a quick look at my units and do the math myself to make sure I can buy what I want in the July 4th deal. Uh, and you as players should too. I should comment that a lot of you probably won't buy like the tier 2 cl catalyst cra class catalyst uh, crystals. Uh, I probably will still because there's an efficiency here in the long run. Uh, but that said, those are the deals. Those are the quick number crunches. Uh, if you're me, buy up to the green. If you have extra units, buy up to the red. And if for some reason you just have a massive ton of units, 
uh, you can buy all, buy them all the way out. But keep in mind that like it gets really expensive after that point. So be careful. Uh, that said, I hope you guys are all, are all making intelligent decisions uh, and you know hold your impulse control back as much as you can. And I will talk to you later.